polynomials. And the nice thing about dividing polynomials is it's almost exactly the same as multiplying polynomials, I mean rationals. So here, um, I'm gonna just do a quick review of how do you divide fractions. So when you divide fractions, example, if I had three quarters divided by two over seven, right? If I was dividing, what do I do first to, to change this, this division sign? Don't you do the reciprocal of two over seven? Good. So we two over seven, we switch it to become, and I like the word reciprocal, meaning you flip it upside down. And what does the division sign become? Multiplication. Multiplication. Great. Thank you, Anthony. So here, when you do that, then it just becomes a multiplication problem again, right? And then you just do exactly what you've been doing with multiplying. So that's the only difference with dividing and multiplying. You just have one extra step, which is to just to change the division to multiplication, and you flip the second fraction, or you take a reciprocal of it. So now let's go ahead and look at, at a problem that has division for rationals. So I am going to do... How about I'll do number 19? So the, the hardest one, right? The last problem of this worksheet. Number 19, I have this. All right. All right. So the first thing I see is I see a lot of crazy numbers, but again, stay calm, stay cool. First step you see is division. If I see division, I'm gonna change that to multiplication. I'm gonna put a dot for multiplication. And what I do with this, I take the second one and I flip it upside down, or in other words, multiply it by its reciprocal. So I get x plus three on top. On the bottom, I have nine x squared minus 25. I do not touch the first one. The first one stays as is. So again, the rules of fractions are exactly the same as when you're doing rationals. So now it's multiplication. And now we can approach it like we just did all the multiplication problems that we just did prior to this problem. So if you're multiplying, we don't need a lowest common denominator. We'll only do that when we do adding, subtracting, and we'll get to that on Wednesday. So all I do is I factor everything to death. So I'm going to factor this with you guys. I'll give you guys a moment to go ahead and try factoring it on your own. I'll put it on pause right now, the recording, and then we'll get back to this. All right. Did anyone want to try answering it? Abraham, did you want to try it? Uh, I got... Um... 3x plus 1 over oh, 3. Before you give me the answer, um, can you just tell me what you did? All right, my bad. No worries. Let me see. All right, so um, I factored it. So on the top, I got 3. For the left side, I got 3x minus 5. So the left side, you got 3x okay. minus 5. Okay. And the parentheses, 3x plus 1. 3x plus 1. Okay, first of all, let me pause there. Does everyone agree with that? Is everyone okay with that? Yes. Okay, so Felicita says yes. All right, then we're moving on then. Go ahead. And then under, I got three mm -hmm. parentheses, x plus three. All right. Everyone okay with that? Looks like Abraham pulled all the GCF. Everyone good? All right, keep going. And on the other side, I got, for the bottom part, I got, 3x minus 5, and 3x plus 5, and the top I just left it like that. Okay. All right, so let's take a look at this. So is this what you got, Abraham? Did I write it down right? I can't see the bottom one. Oh, you can't see the bottom? There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. All right, any questions or anyone agree or disagree or have any questions on what, um, what Abraham just did? All right, nice work. So what did you, what did you do next, Abraham? Uh, put the same ones together. So 3x minus 5 and then x plus 3. 3x minus 5 and x plus 3? No, 3x minus 5. I put the, the same ones 
made them, made them into one. So three X minus five right there. Uh huh. And then the other three X minus five. Oh, I'm sorry. Three X plus five. Three X minus five. Five minus five. Sorry. Okay. Yeah. So these, this becomes a one. It cancels out to become a one. And then X plus three with X plus three. Okay. X plus three and X plus three becomes a one. Good. And I just. I just multiplied across. Okay, so you multiply across. 3x plus 1. Over um, 3, parenthesis, 3x plus 5. 3x plus 5. All right. Do you guys agree with what Abraham did? Yes. Yes. Okay. Does anyone have any questions with what he did? Let me know. <laughs> All right, great job, Abraham. I liked how you uh, you Xbox the top here. You pulled the GCF here. You did the difference of two squares here. You left this one alone. You knew how to cancel things out and you multiplied across. So this is using a lot of our factoring skills that we learned in the previous chapter, right? We learned how to do Xbox, GCF, dots, all that stuff, and you're learning how and you're using the skills of multiplication, multiplying fractions. So really good job. And I really liked that you did not cancel out the threes here. So a lot of students, um, if when they get forgetful of this, they see the 3x and the 3x, and they feel tempted to cr cross it out. So do not do that because, again, this is a whole factor. This is a whole factor. You cannot cancel out pieces of a factor. Again, it's like chopping off an arm from your body, right? Ouch, right? Do not do that to to rationals where you chop things off, right? You have to keep them as a whole. 